So far I've talked about what brought us to TARP, what the Bush and Obama administrations did with TARP and other financial me measures to alleviate the meltdown. Now I'd like to talk about what we should do to uh, prevent another meltdown, starting with eliminating Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and Ginnie Mae. You can keep the VA programs. And I'm not dumping on the people who work for their, these organizations. I'm sure they're smart and professional. But like the IRS, they are playthings of Congress. Uh, backing, guaranteeing mortgages if they should be guaranteed and buying mortgage-backed securities if they should be bought should be the function of the market, not a politician who wants to be your best friend. If left to its own devices, I think the market could do a better job of allocating scarce capital than Congress and not misdirecting it so much, misdirecting so much of it to the housing market, the housing industry and related industries who now have nothing to do but lobby for more support for the housing and related industries market. The next thing is end the mortgage interest deduction. There, I said it. Studies have shown consistently that people are going to buy a house with or without the mortgage interest deduction. What that does is it incents people to buy a bigger house or take on more debt than they would have done otherwise. Again, a misallocation of scarce capital courtesy of your BFF, your local congressman. Canada doesn't have a uh, mortgage interest deduction and they manage to live in houses. Now, one big fat caveat, I'm not looking for uh, this to be free money to the government. I'm looking for this to be revenue neutral like uh, or, or in traded off for a flatter, more streamlined tax structure like in Ryan's roadmap. Right now, the administration vicariously through a uh, tax commission is wailing about budget deficits and they want to use that mortgage interest deduction as a way to reduce deficits. And that makes sense because it's some jack. It's like a hundred billion dollars or something. No. The administration has not shown one whit of financial uh, sensibility, not with the stimulus, not with Obamacare, not with the budget. Oops, wait a minute, there isn't a budget. 